In this video, you will learn how to do remote access to an Allen Bradley Control Logix or Compact Logix PLC. The Logix PLC will connect over Ethernet into the LAN port side of the E1 hardware. Then the E1 hardware will connect over the WAN port over Ethernet to the talk to m account. Then as a programmer, you will connect using the eCatcher software to that same talk to m account. This will establish a VPN tunnel between the RS Logics 5000 programming software and your Logix PLC over Ethernet IP. This also can be accomplished using the onboard serial port using the DF1 protocol and you can see how this is done by watching the video on how to access a remote PLC to a Slick 500. For this presentation, we will be focusing on the Compact Logics PLC. The routing is done in the talk to m account, therefore the network or the IP network that you reside on cannot be on the same IP network as your Logics PLC. We have already made a connection to our talk to m account through eCatcher and connected to the E1. Then by clicking on the IP address up here in the top table, we can open up Internet Explorer and then go in and look at the configuration settings of the E1. Let's type in the username and password. Go to Configuration, System Setup, and Communication. We can see from the network connections underneath Ethernet in Ethernet 1, this is the LAN side of the E1 hardware. We have an IP address of 192.168.0.88. In order to be able to see our Logix PLC, we see that the IP address of the Ethernet card for the Compact Logix is set to a .1. We are on the same network on the LAN side of the E1 hardware. If I were to look at the IP address on my actual computer, you can see here I am in a totally different uh, network. I'm at a 200.99. Through RS Links, I can then begin to browse down and see my Compact Logix PLC and find all of the connecting devices. Here is the actual Compact Logix PLC. Here's the E1 hardware making a connection to the talk to him out the WAN port. The LAN port of the E1 is going up to this Ethernet switch in which we now have an Ethernet connection down into the Compact Logix PLC. Over here is a combination digital input, digital output card. And for the purposes of demonstration, I will turn on some of the digital outputs. But first, I must be able to go online. We'll make that online connection. All right, very good. And if I'll just zoom in up here into the IO car to get a closer look. Now, if I change this value to a 1 we see that digital output turn on up here in the little corner of the IO card do the same thing for the other outputs so this is how you do remote access to an Allen Bradley Control Logics or Compact Logics PLC